Okay, here I got them all selected, and I'm going to go extrude. And of course, they won't go the whole way, um, but I'll try and kind of match the look of that one. Something like that. So maybe I'll go with a half inch. There you go. Oh, maybe a point four is a little better. Uh, okay. Oh, you know, before I, uh, I just realized I, I joined that to the other material. That's important that it's its own body. So I'm going to hit new over here. So it becomes a new part all its own. It's because I want the wheel to be separate down here. There it is. And I'm going to rename this wheel. Uh, it's a little thicker than I would want, but uh, we can play around with that later. Um, I'll show you how to go and quickly edit some features of that. Um, so here it is. That sketch, I'm going to reuse that sketch. So I'll just go back into it and say edit. I'm just going to make these a little thinner. I'm going to grab this. There we go. That should give it a nicer look, more to match that. Yeah. All right, so you can see these transitions in the middle. I'm not really happy with those. I could go fix those too. I could even put a, uh, probably I could put a uh, fillet in there. Let's see if it will let that happen. Yeah. But anyways, I'm not going to mess with that right now. Um, but I do want to go back into that sketch again because I want to add the uh, the other rim part. So I really just want to do another circle that's just a little bit bigger than that one. Something like that. Oh, and then I need to be able to see this. So see how it makes it no show? I'm going to show that sketch. And then go, oh, sorry, guys. Oh, boy, it doesn't really want to let me come around here. There we go. And that one. And that one. And that one. All right, here we go. It's kind of what I'm looking for here. It's a little wider than it needs to be. So I'm gonna try the 0.75, I bet that is. About right there, huh? And then I will add it this time. Hopefully it will add it just to the wheel. So I'm gonna select that just to make sure that's the only thing it's adding it to. There we go. Now you can see one of the issues here is that this is backwards, but remember this actually has an assembly that I'm gonna paste this in. So I'll insert it, wheel, there we go. And I can position all four of these. I'll do a hole and an axle for the body. And uh, 
when you're uh, positioning, you can obviously use the mates that you guys have learned how to use, and that'll be the best way to do this. We'll put a little 